The global A2 milk market is projected to skyrocket from $2.56 billion in 2024 to a staggering $7.62 billion by 2034. This rise in popularity is due to claims that A2 milk is a far healthier option than A1 milk. Are these claims backed by science or are consumers falling for a clever marketing ploy? With prices often double that of regular milk, is this trend truly worth it or just another dairy scam? Join us as we uncover the truth behind this hype. Welcome to Holistic Halo Vibes. In this video, we'll dive into the origins of A1 and A2 milk, understand the difference between them, explore the science behind the health claims, and examine whether the growing hype around A2 milk is justified. Before we dive further, let's first get our facts right. Whole milk consists of almost 88% water, and the remaining is proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and sugar. Milk is a rich source of protein, and the two main types of milk proteins are casein and whey. Casein makes up about 80% of the protein in milk, while whey proteins make up for the remaining. There are three types of casein proteins of which beta casein is the most prevalent one. A 1 and A2 are the most common variants of the beta casein proteins. A 2 protein is believed to be the oldest and mimics the breast milk. All the other variants are a result of mutations from the A2 protein. The mutation could be due to a genetic shift caused by a change in habitat or human interventions like shifting from grass to grain feeding, mass production, or growth hormones. The regular milk in the stores today is a mix of the A1 and A2 protein variants. In the 1990s, researchers found that the A1 beta casein protein was linked to chronic health diseases. Globally, many small studies were conducted and most found A1 protein was causing a range of health issues like gastrointestinal discomfort, inflammation, and diabetes. It was also linked to conditions like autism and sudden infant death syndrome in infants. So what exactly is the difference between A1 and A2 milk? Well, both A1 and A2 milk is structurally almost the same except for a tiny difference in their protein structure. Let's understand the structure of the A2 protein. Think of amino acids as small pieces that combine to form larger structures called proteins. The A2 beta casein protein structure has 209 such amino acids. At the 67th position of this chain is an amino acid named proline. Due to the mutations, this proline was replaced by another amino acid called histidine. This new protein structure formed is what we call the A1 beta casein protein. This is the only difference between A1 and A2 milk as nutritionally they both are quite similar. Does this small change in the protein structure really make that much of a difference? Well, the answer will shock you. When the A1 milk is digested, the protein structure is broken down into a fragment called beta casomorphin 7, BCM7. BCM7 is what makes A1 milk potentially dangerous for consumption. BCM7 is believed to enter the bloodstream easily from the intestine, especially in those suffering from leaky gut, which cause inflammation. So, how is it too different, you may ask? A2 protein is smoothly digested without forming any protein fragments, so no BCM7 is formed. Here are five health concerns linked to BCM7. First up, heart disease. Some studies report that A1 milk can increase the risk of heart disease. Some animal studies report that A1 milk can increase fat buildup resulting in clogged arteries damaging the heart. Next, cognitive function. BCM7 as per studies is believed to affect our brain. It binds to the receptors in the brain that are linked to the hormone endorphins. This hormone regulates the mood and helps relieve stress and pain. BCM7 prevents them from responding to endorphins, thus impacting cognitive functions and emotional regulations. Some research has linked BCM7 to neurological disorders such as autism in children and schizophrenia in adults. At three, inflammation. BCM7 has been shown to trigger inflammatory responses in the gastrointestinal tract, which can lead to digestive issues like discomfort and bloating. This inflammatory effect may extend to other areas, potentially worsening chronic inflammation. Many studies also suggest that lactose intolerance, a condition where the body is unable to digest milk, may be due to the BCM7 molecule. As most lactose intolerant individuals do not experience gastrointestinal discomfort when consuming A2 milk. Next at four, type one diabetes is normally diagnosed in children and teenagers. Studies indicate those children who consume more A1 milk during childhood are at a higher risk of type one diabetes. This is mainly due to the BCM7 molecule interfering with the functioning of insulin. Finally at five, experts have raised concerns that high levels of BCM7 in infants could be associated with adverse health outcomes, including sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, and other developmental issues. While many scientists based on their research have raised an alarm regarding the side effects of BCM7, however, it's important to note that most of them are small and animal studies. Interestingly, studies conducted by the European Food Safety Authority, FSA, and Australian and New Zealand Food Safety Authorities confirms the possibility of BCM7 affecting the digestive tract 
and causing adverse digestive issues. They agree that certain segments of the population like infants and those with certain diseases are at a higher risk of adverse effects of the BCM7. However, they suggest more clinical trials to find a link between BCM7 and chronic diseases. The existing evidence might be insufficient to draw a conclusion. So who are at a higher risk? Individuals with autoimmune conditions like type 1 diabetes, infants, those with gastrointestinal neurological disorders, and dietary sensitivities like lactose intolerance individuals. To conclude this video, here are the key points we discussed today. A1 and A2 structurally have a tiny difference. A1 milk may lead to inflammation and digestive issues due to the formation of beta casomorphin 7, BCM7, whereas A2 milk is considered safe and healthier, especially for those falling in the high-risk category. If you've tried A2 milk, we want to hear from you. Please share your experiences in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, do share it with your family and friends. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.